So look what else we can do in here. I've got this file that's structured. If I want to see what's in there, I can walk down the hierarchy levels and see or return. But there's another thing I can do. There's a root I said I have here. So here, I'm afraid I'll need a different picture of the view. <laughs> so here's what I drew with a picture drawing capability here. It's a slight map if I start from work. And here's the route I seem to have to go to to pick up all the materials. And that's my plan for getting home tonight. But if I want to, I can say, the library, what am I supposed to pick up there? I can just point to that. And oh, I see, overdue books and all. Well, there was a statement there with that name on it. Go back. What if I, what am I supposed to pick up the drugstore? Hmm, I see, very interesting. All right. Market? Oh, I've already seen that. Why do snow like that? Hmm. Gee, that's too much. Anyway, so we have this feature of structuring our material hierarchically, being able to move around it very well. When we get a hierarchy, such as I can show you here now, I can do things if I want to just say, I'd like to interchange produce and canned materials. Bingo. And they're all numbered rightly if I care to look. Interchanging them very quickly. Cans are going to inter inter get interchanged with produce. They do it and all gets renumbered. So I have ways of studying over, making different views, moving around, going to specified points, and modifying the structure. At the same time, I've seen that I have a repertoire of different entities, like character, knock off that character, replace the character, make that P. So I have entities of all sorts that I can say I want to do operations on, and this basic structure that I can move over and study and get about very quickly. So that is the essence now. That's the essence of the tool we have. There are a lot of details that I've left out for you. And now I'd like to stop a minute and just make sure you understand we're shifting from illustrative material to the real working stuff, in case you wouldn't recognize it otherwise. We've had, uh, we've used this tool to do our daily work and it's, our system has been built, this time-sharing system, for about six months now it's been working. And in that time we've gone from getting one console to getting about six working now with 12, six more due the rest of the spring. This is our fourth computer in which we've had this kind of a system, so we've learned a lot about the user features we want and how to be fairly skillful. But this next step about learning how, when you're faced with having this in your office all day, as I now do, a very exciting sense, how do you put that to work for yourself? How do you organize your files? What kind of things do you do? So to get going on this, let's switch away from the tool we have here and talk about some of the general features of the program, some of the ways it's built, and get back a little later to the nature of, the, of uh, our usage of it. <laughs>